Welcome to episode two, Smash or Pass Mystery World Edition. It, I feel like I've seen it before. Oh, that is gross. That's so cute. Not another one. <laughs> Let's go pick some molds. I've always wanted to do the flat rectangular ones, so I'm gonna grab one of these ones out. I'm actually gonna grab the second one out. I'm gonna also grab the one right next to it, just cause it kind of looks like a mug. I'm not sure whether to do this one cause it's square or this one cause it's also square but flat. Oh. I'm gonna go do this one. I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna take another little one from up here for the last one. Okay, here's our stack. I actually didn't mean to pick them in size order, but <laughs> I like this little tier of mystery molds. So I'm gonna clean them up, get pouring, and we'll see what's inside. This one's, you can kind of see inside. It looks like a building of some description and it's got the number 107. If you have ever wondered why I walk away from the table, it's because I pop the molds upside down over a drain. That is so the drips will all come out instead of going back into the cast because if you have drips in your cast, what can happen is it dries them evenly and causes cracks. So that's what I do. It's time to open. I thought I broke it. <laughs> All right, I don't think this is gonna come out actually. I think we're gonna have to wait for this to dry a little bit more. So this kind of looks like a picture frame. Oh, I might need the air compressor to get this one out. <gasps> okay. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that. All right, now that that's off, let's... Okay. Mm. I'm not good with geography and I don't know where this is and it's kind of, maybe it's very notable and I just don't know it. I don't know where this is. It, I feel like I've seen it before and I just don't know where. Am I just like really unaware? Am I gonna get a bunch of people in the comments being like, <laughs> how do you not know what that is? I think that this is meant to be like a plaque for the wall, but it's a very heavy plaque. I mean, I did pour it quite thick, but I don't know, maybe it goes on the wall, like you put a hook on the bottom, up on the top. <laughs> I'm gonna explain why I'm gonna smash this one. So this one's a smash. I'm actually smashing this one because although it's detailed, and although it's nice, there's not much I can do here that's gonna make the piece any better. I, I just see this as an antique and a glazed job and I, I think that that's it. Like you can't really elevate this design and it doesn't leave much room for creativity. Look, it's a smash, it's a smash. This is the second one and it has this big hole, which I think is a mug because you can kind of see a handle in there. And then it's got this other, attachment on the side is interesting it says two teeth water cup tl design so i don't know what that means <laughs> it sounds a bit weird but let's have a look it does look a bit weird in all right i'm gonna tip this one out and fill up the other side Okay, I can't see what that is yet. Hang on. This is what we've got so far. It looks like a pot with an attachment. Oh, yuck. <laughs> oh, that is gross. <laughs> that is so weird. This era of cartoon is just, it's a little bit cursed. So it looks like it's meant to be a teacup. What's the other part? 
hang on. Okay, let's unpack this first. So it looks like it's gonna be a teacup. It's got these like lightning strikes on it. I kind of like the face because it reminds me of those like grumpy marks you could get at the market, but it just, it has a little bit of a weirdness to it that I don't like and it makes me feel very uncomfortable. Sometimes I feel bad for saying something's weird because I know that someone spent a lot of time on this design and probably thought it was so cool at the time of making it. And I'm just like literally going, ill. <laughs> it's a bit wet still. It's a bit wet. All right, we've got some feet. I'm assuming feet go on the bottom. Uh, I, I think this is this will be cut off, but I think the little dude. Oh, that is weird. I don't, I don't like that at all. That is getting a smash. Even the shape of this to sip out of and this large rim is not nice. It's not a nice design and this is just creepy. And the feet too. Oh. <gasps> Alright, this one is the square one. It has nothing on it other than that and a number and the brand. But we've got two holes on the top. Time to open our square. Let's have a look. Ah, oh. <laughs> not another one. <laughs> okay, this is a horse, and they have a tendency to be very fragile, very hard to make, and crack a lot. The other thing is I have really wanted to do a Lisa Frank inspired piece and a horse is kind of perfect for that. But, oh, the legs, they're just so skinny. This is gonna be a mission. I'm not saying I'm not up for the challenge. I'm just, oh, it, it, it's gonna break. Look, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the leg and then we're gonna set it up. <laughs> And if it falls over, we're going to smash it. And if it doesn't fall over, I might still smash it. <laughs> that is so skinny. That is going to break. <laughs> so I would usually actually slip and score this. Oh, how does that work? I haven't cut off any extra. And that is not... <laughs> it doesn't match up. Unless it's like kicking. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like... It doesn't, it's not matching up to where the leg goes, unless it goes there. But that, that doesn't look, that looks weird. No matter where you sort of put it. So if I rotate that, can you see how they meant to fit like a little puzzle piece? Every time I make a move with this, everything moves. And I feel like it's going to crack, even if it doesn't crack now. Oh, you don't. <laughs> I'm gonna smash this. I am gonna smash this because this, it doesn't even stand. The design of it's not ideal because the leg doesn't match up and also the legs aren't flat and balanced so that you can actually stand it for what it's meant to be doing. You know what it looks like? It looks like, actually, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't look like anything. I just really wanted to do a Lisa Frank inspired piece. Horses, the horses, okay. The legs are just so not good. Oh yeah, look, <laughs> it's a smash. This one says Cricket Mold, which I'm pretty certain is the brand. And then on the other side, it says Little Gnome. So <laughs> that actually sounds really cute. I'm excited to see what this one is. Let's open it. gosh it's a little gnome and it sits oh, it sits imagine putting that on a plant or even hiding that in a friend's house that is just so cute oh, 
love that. I, I love that so, so much. That is definitely a pass. I'm definitely passing that on. What is it holding? It looks like it's holding a little book. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. I love it so much. What did you think of this episode of Smash or Pass? Did I make the right decision? Let me know what you think in the comments and any ideas you have for the pass pieces. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Why does it look like that? <gasps> oh, what a cool little critter. It's not very cool. What is that?